Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. In the last video, or the last couple of videos, Robert Baratheon won his rebellion and usurped the Iron Throne from Aerys Targaryen, as you can see here. Uh, we can even go ahead and look at the history. See, Aerys the Mad King, dead. However, after taking the Iron Throne, all of the Mad King's old allies, everywhere from the Vale to Dorne, uh, declared independence from Robert. So he had several uh, rebellions to deal with. Um, I think he had maybe, I think he had like five to start with when, when those wars were first going. Uh, he's won, I think, about two of them. There's still three. Two of them very major. Uh, one rebellion with Dorne, and another rebellion with the Reach. And then he has a third one with Griffin's Roost. Uh, John Connington, I do believe. Now, ourselves, Lord Dan of Maidstone, has managed to have a son. His wife, Lord Jane Rivers, has managed to get pregnant once again. And we are slowly trying to improve our holding here at Maidstone and hopefully maybe expand into Black Rush. But we might be getting ahead of ourselves with that. Uh, things are constantly shifting and changing in uh, Westeros. So let's just get right started, shall we? Oh no! Right off the bat. Our wife has died. Jane Frey died in childbirth. The daughter was born to Lord Dan of Maidsword, Lady Jane Rivers, named Emphiria. That is a cool name. But she lived. So we have now two children. So sad, Emphiria killed the mother. Um, let's pause for a second, because now we need a new wife. So it's time to search for a new wife again. Oops, and I completely forgot to start my timer. Tisk tisk tisk. Uh, let me go ahead. There we go. All right. So now let's go ahead and find a wife. Now maybe we could marry into the Black Rush. She has a weak claim on Black Rush. She's already married though. Lord Ambrose of Escaroth. Where's Escaroth? Oh, down there. Never heard of it. Sounds. Sounds kind of a token-esque. Uh, Blackwood Vale. Is there anyone we can marry in Blackwood Vale? No. How about in Fair Market? She's taken. She's taken. Uh, Martlet Bay, maybe? Taken. Taken. I want to try to find someone who is maybe... Oh, no. <laughs> That's... Well, maybe does Lord Tully have anyone? No, of course he wouldn't. Um, trying to maybe find someone close to where we live so we can sort of expand diplomatically. But I don't think that's going to happen just yet. We might have to wait until we take Blackwood Vale for ourselves. So let's just go ahead and let's first search in the Find Characters realm, or window. Uh, women in prison. Oops. In prison. No. Married. No. Ruler, any, but we probably won't find him. My religion, or actually my religion group, because we shouldn't, you know, ignore uh, the Northmen. They might be good marriages. Any culture is fine. Adult, yes. Great house, yes. Because as I mentioned before, I am sort of doing a role-playing style uh, of play. So, you know, as we are a lord, it would make no sense for us to marry someone you know, lowborn. That would be, that would not be uh, acceptable for us. So let's see who is there. There's Mia Greatwood in Andal. Where, where are the Andals? Seven stars. Where is the seven stars? Oh. Oh, they're all the way back in across the narrow sea. So maybe we should ignore Andals, um, because that. That probably won't work too well. So let's ignore any Andal characters. Um, uh, 
Lorathi, that might not work very good. Veilman, another Andal. Hmm. Not seeing too many good ones. I have to admit. And all these people are way too old. Um, let's just go ahead and try in the arranged marriage window. Maybe we can find someone better this way. Um, start this way. Oh, uh, ignore the children. Start with fifteen. So, Lenise High Tower. That might be a good option. Late and we would get an alliance with the High Towers. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Para would sort. We can marry an Aaron. I think uh, she might be the best one. She's attractive. She's ambitious. She might be a good choice. Get an alliance with the High Towers, maybe, and it would work. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? All right. So we're getting another uh, marriage going on. That will increase our prestige, and we will get an alliance. Because all of our Frey allies no longer exist. Because um, our wife died. So we are no longer allied with the Freys. Alright, so my wife has arrived. She's 15. Let's see. She lacks a guardian. Um, educate child. It's my master of coin. Let's see, maybe there's someone with traits that would be good that we might want to impose upon her. Uh, whatever, our Master of Coin is probably good enough, I would think. Uh, Lord Dan, Sparks, and Lady Lenny Hightower have gotten married. And it is customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house. Uh, yes. It is customary for a dowry, so... I demand a dowry. Um, and we can hold a wedding feast. Let's go ahead and do that. All my vassals will be there. Awesome. My lord, Lord Leighton, has sent you a dowry, but it was a poor offering. The paltry sum of gold and silver clearly doesn't befit the value of the bride. He gave us 25 gold for his daughter and he has yes a lot of gold what what's the deal man what is the deal vigilance ooh cool okay greedy bastard now what's old town doing old town is at war with dorn interesting Oh right, Old Town sided with Robert during these independence things. They didn't side with the Reach and the Tyrells, which could be dangerous for them if the Tyrells win. Steward Alisane has grave news. Part of the castle where the guests would be staying would have to be repaired or else the, they, or else she couldn't guarantee the guest's safety. It would be rather costly, but Alisane assured me the repairs would be worth the cost. Just repair it, please. Now, the, the Dornish Independence War is not really going well for Dorn at the moment. But that is not our major concern right now. This wedding is. So the best part of a wedding is organizing the whole event. I'll spend lavishly 100 gold. Can't afford that. I'll spend enough to make it nice. Can't afford that. I don't want to spend too much on it. She's also my second wife, so, you know. Can only afford so much. And, you know, maybe if Lord Hightower had sent us more gold, we could have a better wedding feast. Uh, the Jonglers? No, I don't think so. I don't have enough money for Jonglers. I also have no money for a Conjurer. Sorry. And I'm sorry if these noises are kind of annoying. I'm sucking on a piece of ice. Nom 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 nom. Uh oh. 
Rainwood is suddenly independent. They must have not wanted to keep fighting against uh, Lord Connington, I guess. Uh, my liege, I've collected a tithe. Excellent. The, dead, the wedding day is upon us. Soon I will be wed to Lady Lenice in sight of all the lords of Maidstone. It shall be glorious. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Lady Lenice's gown is splendid and the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to the wedding. Here I stand before the warrior to take up a holy vow of marriage with Lenice Hightower. The great lords and ladies of Maidstone look on as I drape the arms of House Sparse around my bride to finally seal our marriage. That's interesting. Uh, I think the last time I... It was the crone or something when I got married to the Frey girl. Very interesting. So, is the wedding over yet? Come on. Fire more events. I want more wedding events. <laughs> The feast is winding down, and now only the bedding remains. Dan and Lenise are stripped of all garments by the revelers, who make many a body joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into their bedchamber, where they are finally left alone. A fine tradition! So, we have been wedded and bedded. Now all that we need to hope for is a child. The morning after the wedding feast has come and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home, all agree it was a fine celebration and many predict that the newlyweds shall be most content. I had great fun and so did everyone else. Great. Now our wife doesn't really like us very much at the moment. Wait, religious differences? Hold the phone for a second. Hold the phone. Oh, he's an old gods follower. No, where's the religion? There's the religion. Doesn't show up on the map, but he follows the old gods. Interesting. Amphiria is slow to learn to talk. Hmm. We tried this one last time, so let's try something else. Let's send her to the nannies. Oh, she's become greedy. All right, that is fine. So who has taken this? Ah, John Connington has taken Fellwood. No wonder the war score is so good for him. Uh, Dorne is at 67%. How are the other wars going for the Iron Throne? Uh, 81 in favor against... Uh, <laughs> King Mace of the Lily. And then John Connington has 69% in favor. So it looks like the re the war against the Reach will be over fairly soon. And my wife is pregnant. And so hopefully Robert can then focus on, you know, Griffin's Roost and Dorne. Because it's ridiculous that Griffin's Roost is kicking so much butt. I mean... They only have 3,000 men. Wait, do they even have 3,000 men? Total levy, total levy of Lord John. Current levy of Lord John. Though he only has 239 men. Most of his men are dead. Well, hopefully Lord Hugo of the North can come and save. Oh, something happens. What happens? War of Dornish Independence is over. And it looks like Dorn is now... Dorn doesn't even seem to exist anymore. Is there no Lordship of Dorn? Like, it's just... Yeah, Robert has taken Dorne. He hasn't assigned Dorne to anyone. Yet. But he should grant it to someone eventually. So now it's the War at the Reach. 
For some reason the reach is all the way in Dragonstone. Makes no sense. Ar Army of Lord Joffrey. Oh, ooh, what is this? In recognition of your glory and honor, a Septon offers to anoint you with the holy oils and grant you a knighthood. Um, hell yes. Finally, some recognition of my abilities. Hell yes. Cool. We are now a knight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A knight, oiled and blessed by the Septon, hardened by battle and trading. Monthly prestige, plus 10. Mounted troops, plus 10. Church opinion, plus 15. Attraction opinion, plus 10. Same trait, plus 5. So... Uh, hmm. Oh well. The wolves' territory is crept closer to the castle, and more sheep, pigs, and chickens vanish every day. The wolves are not to blame. Every village will fight them together. Give me a sword, I'll deal with them. Uh, 60% chance of nothing happening. 20% chance of we gain one marshal. 14% chance of wounded. 4% chance of maimed. 1% chance that we die. Uh, let's see. We are temperate. Shy. You know, let's just say the wolves are not to blame. Increase our vassal opinion a little bit. The wolves are not to blame. Is it winter? Like, I don't remember. Is it winter? No. It was winter, but I, winter must have been over. My lord, tragic news. His holiness, the High Scepter, has passed away. The gods losing their worldly avatar. A successor must be selected. So we have a new High Scepter. Great. High Scepter from the Vale. Whoa, 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 whoa. Septon Edmure. Okay, no. This is not the same Edmure. Yeah, okay. I got worried for a second. I thought, <laughs> you know, the Tullys had given their only heir to, uh... <laughs> to the, uh... Oh, what do they call it? The Sept, I guess? Uh, let's see, our court. I think I want to quickly do some housekeeping with my court in the last couple of minutes that we have going. But women in prison, no. Married, no. Ruler, no. No. Great house, any. My, any religion, any culture, adult, yes. So let's try to get rid of some of these women. We don't really want them here. So can we marry you off to someone? Lord of Oxcross. There you go. And now Alisane wants to be married. Now do we have a... She is our master of coin. Do we have anyone better that we can replace her with? We do not. So it might be just a good idea to leave her be. Or maybe we can find someone... Maybe we should just marry her off to someone who's already in our court. Like, how about... Our Master of Whispers. He has a... Yeah, that might be a good thing. Make our Master of Whispers like us a bit more. Alright, there we go. I really don't like that fulfilling marriage ambitions doesn't give you uh, improved relations anymore. It's such a pain. I don't know why they got rid of that. And it's not the mod that did that. It's like vanilla CK2 got rid of that also. All right, get rid of Emberly. She was useless to me. Righteous imprisonment of Master Hobart. Why? Oh, he wants to buy the Septon's loyalty. Well then, that is not cool. Uh-oh, raises flags in rebellion. That is also not cool. Well, I got you first. <laughs> um, and what do we need? We need a new Master at Arms, then. So, Creighton, 16. There we go. He's currently leading men. That is fine for now. So, I will not stand by and let my vassals try to buy the loyalty of my council. 
Why would he want to buy the Septon's loyalty anyway? I don't really understand why. But we're going to take him and we're probably going to send him to the wall. Or we're going to banish him. I'll probably banish him, take his money, and then I'll get sent to the wall. And I'll give his uh, title to someone else. Don't know exactly, but someone. Let's see. Tywin. Oh, Tyrion is an adult. Not married yet. Cersei has... Cersei... Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I am slowly running low on time here. Or quickly running low on time. But let's see. Cersei has had three children. One died stillborn. One died an inbred freak. And another died a period of illness. Joanna Hill. Jeremy Hill. Willem Hill. I have a feeling that... Cersei... Oh, and Cersei is no longer lover of Jaime. Cersei is now a lover of Justin Serrett. Interesting. But I have a feeling that a lot of these hills are probably actually Jaime Lannister's children. Um, just because, especially since one of them was an inbred freak. You know, Siege of Maid Falls. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no. That is not good either. My lord, his grace, King Robert, has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Prince Marin Rathian, will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. How did he die? He died under suspicious circumstances. Oh. That's not good. Someone killed him off. I wonder who. Long live the king. And we've taken Maid Falls, so let's go ahead and... Offer peace, yes. And let's go ahead and revoke his title for a hundred prestige. Uh, lower his by opinion, but he's a traitor, so no one will care. All right. And then let's. Can we banish him? Ransom prisoner for ten gold. Execute. Can we send him to the wall? Why can't we send him to the wall? Hmm. Ransom all prisoners. No. I want to send him to the wall. Ransom, release, execute. Why can't I send him to the wall? He should be sent to the wall. That's weird. Anyway. We have also a wrong holding, so let's go ahead and just give that to someone. Why not? Oh, our Castellan. Grant landed title, City of Maid Falls. There you go. He's left my court. What? Let's go for a few days. Reset everything. There we go. Now he's our Castellan again. Hooray! Let's go ahead, disband our military, and Master at Arms, train children. Oh boy. <laughs> that is sad. So someone killed Robert, and Marin is only one years old. Don't know why he's a rebel leader. Um, very odd indeed. It'll be curious to see who... Um, it's probably someone in the line. It might be Stannis, but it also could be Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, I doubt it's Renly, he's only 11. Anyway, I think we are out of time now, so until next time, this has been Dan Sparse. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me questions if you want to know anything. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr if you want to, you know, see me post dumb stuff or talk about Game of Thrones maybe. I always enjoy talking to people. And until next time, bye!